Okay, in this video I'm going to explain how to use the engraving feature. With engraving you can control the height of the letters and will automatically space them out accordingly. And I've got a 6 by 6 inch block here so I'm going to do two lines of engraving. So I'm in the program mode, I'm going to hit the more key and go to the second page so that I can get to where it says engrave. And the first thing it's asking me for is where I want to start. So I'm going to start at 3 quarters of an inch in X and minus 2 inches in Y. I'm going to have a 20 thousandths uh, rapid rate and I'm going to go 20 thousandths deep. Okay, I'm going to do these in 0.375 as the height of my letters and now it's asking me what do I want to put in here. So I'm going to just use my keyboard and do this the easy way. Check to make sure that looks good. Push end. Now it's asking me for feeds and speeds, right? So 4,000 RPM, 20 inches a minute, tool number one. Now when I look on the screen, there's my first part, okay? My second line, I'm going to go back to the engraving page. This time I'm going to be at a quarter inch. I'm going to go down four inches. Same rapid planes, same depth, same height. And this time I'm going to punch in here. And that looks correct. Push end. Same numbers again. It remembers all that. There's my two lines. Okay. So now I'm ready to make parts. Okay. So I'm going to switch modes. I'm going to go to the run mode. Push start. Push go. So now it's telling me load the first tool and all that normal stuff. I'm going to push go and turn the spindle on. Let it rip. Now I'm using a center drill to do the engraving because I've found an experience that it works almost better than most engraving tools do. Okay, I'm going to take my part out, it's completed, and just like the sign says, Prototracks, easy as one, two, three.